students this is one linear path so overall this is a 180 means if i am adding this x degree plus 72 degree i know this overall is 180 are you clear that's why we are getting there so i need x degree means 180 degree minus 72 degree i can find out my x degree okay same process in this place so this is overall is a 180 so i can add this 3x degree plus 42 degree equal to one no, sorry 180 degree so if you moving 3x degree equal to transfer rule moving in this place means subtracting so we're getting this answer previous class we learned about this one way okay so they are asking find out a x value alone so you find your x value alone so in the fifth question um, what they mentioned one angle of here linear pair is a right so we already know the linear pair is what this is only your linear pair they are having a straight line this is a linear um, is a right angle one angle is a right angle so linear pair mean definitely 180 degrees divided into two parts so i know this is my 90 degree means this is my x degree a b c okay so we already know in linear pair sum of the two angles this is fully 180 degree so what i am i can divide into two part for my 180 one is my x one is my 90 so x degree plus 90 degree equal to 180 degree because i know linear pair is a full is a 180 degree so i am dividing that my angle 180 is two part so x degree is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree so what's x degree 90 degree the very easy okay then if the angle if the three angles at the points are in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 7 the value of each angle they didn't mention linear pair or vertical opposite nothing they mentioned so normally the degree is 360 degree okay one rotation is a 360 degree so what they given the ratio is a 1 is to in 360 degree we are in the ratio 1 4 7 like that so 1 into some x only you know the 1 degree 4 into some x is equal to 1 degree so for example you having a 20 by 10 means 2 by 10 how can i write 2 is to 1 so 2 into 10 into 10 right this 10 is where x because it may change that's only you are taking your ratio into some value only you can find out what is the original value of this ratio okay it will be struggle to understand but in a higher if you are learning in some more some more things you can understand easily okay so don't worry about this so the ratios so what are the ratios the ratios are 1 is to 4 is to 7 okay so we are converted into this angle okay it's so angle ratios the angles are now only we learn right 20 i can write 2 into 10 i don't know the 10 is repetition so into x i can write now the same x 1 into x x and 4 into x 4x and 7 into x 7x these are my angles so find out your angles so addition of these angle equal to 360 before the overall angle is at 360 that's why it's so, a hex plus 4x plus 7x is equal to 360 degree so 5 so this is 4x plus 4 5 5 plus this is how much correct now 360 degree so x is equal to 360 degree multiplication moving that place division in 12 table 1 36 for 3 so 0 so what's the angle 30 degree so i know my x value i can substitute in this place so x 4x 7x so x is equal to 30 degree 4 into 30 degree 7 into 30 degree 0 4 3 is a 12 0 7 3 is a 21 so the angles are 30 degree 120 210 okay this one there are six angles at a point one of them is 45 degree and the other five angles are equal what is that so i know only one angle so what they mention means so if you are having a common point okay 
single point we having a five angle 1 2 3 so this is for 45 degree so this is 45 degree totally how many angle we have six angle so you are making six so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 you can six so what they mention there are six angles at a point same point we having a six angle one angle is a 45 45 degree and the other angles are equal so i don't know what is my other angle so i can take some variable x degree x degree they are, what they mention this angle this angle, balance five angles is equal so i can write each and everything is my for my convenient x degree for my convenient x degree i am having okay so i am having a five angles they didn't mention what is your the uh, degree at all so we already learned right If they given like this means you can add equal to three sixty. This is by sum and the sum. So what they mention? First angle, one angle is one angle equal to forty five degree. Balance five angles are equal. So I can write x degree. They mention equal. Okay. So what they mention? How many angles? Six angle. One two three four five six. One two. So five six. So we having a six angle, right? So I am adding that angle. Sum of this angle equal to what? Three sixty degree. We already know about that. Previous sum I told, right? They didn't mention this method means you can directly put that three sixty. So one two three four five. So five x degree equal to three sixty degree. This is moving this place minus forty five degree. So three sixty minus forty five cancel this. So five one three. So three one five degree. So five x degree. So x degree is equal to three one five degree. Multiplication moving this place division. So can you can cancel this. Long division also okay. Short division also it's easy for me. But your understanding will be struggle right. That's why I'm writing like this. So in five g table six or thirteen. So fifteen. So Three are fifteen, so sixty three degree. Okay. Then, so x degree. So we have all the bal, all the angles are x degree, right? So all the angles are x degree. That's equal to forty five degree. Means all the five angles, okay, equal to forty five degree. That's it. Finally, I will uh, mention that note. Okay, I already sent the notes right. Okay, then in eighth sum, what I mean the figure identify uh, any two um, pairs of adjacent angles. So they are asking a adjacent angles pairs. So if I am taking this line means, so if I am taking this line. This is my figure, right? P Q T. P Q T. This is adjacent angle for P. So adjacent angle means what? So if you are having like this, definitely it will common point two. It will be divided. So P Q T. So P Q T. Angle P Q T. And uh, T. Q R angle T Q R this part and this part this is one of the edges and angles I am having okay so oh, that's only they are asking then how many edges and angles we have that's only they are asking now then P Q U so in this place I am taking. So I can take this part. So first one is this and this. Then P Q U. Okay, P Q U. P Q U. And Q. Oh sorry, U Q R. This and this. 
U Q R. Okay. What is the vertically opposite this line and this line? So this is opposite to this. This is opposite to this. How can I write? P O T is equal to U O R and angle P Q U. equal to angle r q t r q t vertically opposite means like this so this is cross right so this is equal to this this is equal to this that's why um what the mission the angle at your points are this the value of the largest angle the same process ma so what you are going to do adding these here all the elements that's equal to 360 We already did in previous sums, right? The same. If they given like this means you can add and find out equal to three sixty. Which one is the largest number? If you find out x value means substitute in this place. Which one is the largest? Find out that. Okay. So from the given figure, the missing angle. What is the missing angle? X degree. So opposite angles are equal. So obviously one eighty one or five degree. Opposite angles are equal. So one or five degree. Okay. Find the angle x degree and y degree in the figure. So find out the x degree and y degree. So I am taking this line. I already mentioned right. So I already send the answer. What I send in this place? I think this. Yeah. So this is my one line. This is a one line, L L line. This is my M line, right? So in M line, I am having. This is my M line. So what I am having? This two degree. This is my x degree. This is my three x degree. Correct? So we already know the linear straight line means what is the value? Sum of these two angles equal to one eighty degree. We already know, right? That's why x degree plus three x degree equal to one eighty degree. So I am adding this. What is my x value? Forty-five degree. Okay, they are asking find out the x and y value. So I know my x degree value. Then what I am going to do means I know my x degree means I can find out this is my forty-five degree. Three into forty-five. What's your answer? One thirty-five degree. Okay, so one thirty-five. If I'm, uh, we already know this is this is why I'm right. This is equal to this. This is equal to this, right? So if I know three into x degree means what? Now only we find out one thirty five degree. So this is equal to this. So my y value is a one thirty five degree. Are you clear? If you know three x degree means that is equal to your y degree. That's one day I can say that. Or vertically opposite angles are equal. So I am taking three x degree is equal to my y degree. So I am substituting in this place. Y degree equal to what? One thirty five degree. Okay. Then. Uh, Twelfth sum. Twelfth sum. Use the figure. Answer the following question. What is the answer of the angle x degree? What is the measure of angle y? So you 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 won't worry about this. Why they are giving like this? So only you need this linear. Okay, I need this line alone. By using this line, I can find out. So this is y degree. This is one twenty five degree because I know about this only. So opposite angles are equal. So obviously my x degree is equal to what one twenty five degree. So I'm going to find out this. Now only I teach you right. Taking this line, sum of these two angle equal to so one twenty five degree plus y degree is equal to what one eighty degree. So this is moving this place. So one eighty minus one twenty five degree. Subtract and get your y value. So that's what they are asking. What is the y measurement? 